Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's Expresso right here on SABC3. And it's time for our hashtag Friday Funnies, proudly brought to you by the Cape Town Comedy Club, where we take a look at some of the biggest stories of the week and find a, bit of, a little bit of humor in the crazy world that we live in. We'd like to welcome comedian Kurt Skunrad to the show this morning. How are you, Kurt? I'm so lucky, man. Thanks for having us. So good to have you here. Mm -hmm. um, so what's happening in the world? Well, our first story um, is more of a tribute, really, than a funny. And yeah. it's, yeah. uh, it's Amir Katsrada's past of course and yeah. I do my as it he had a wicked sense of humor so it's only f it's only fair that yeah. uh, the comedy industry has a fitting goodbye for him as well so cheers our uh, uh, comrade um, uh, Katrada over there also uh, we had a, a he was affectionately known as, uh, as Uncle, Kathy. Uncle Kathy yeah mm -hmm. we also had an Uncle Kathy in our family did you really? yeah it was it was more like Uncle Irvin in his wife's clothes. I don't think it qualifies oh at the same, uh, same level. <laughs> okay. But yeah, a, 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 a huge, uh, huge stalwart from, from South Africa's biggest shoulders, um, I reckon. That's true. Also, um, there's, sometimes you see things coming and then sometimes you don't see things coming. Yeah. Like? Our next story, um, Johnny Rotten. I don't know if you remember Do Johnny Rotten from the Sex Pistols. It was a big band in oh, the 80s yes. and 90s. I remember, yeah. So sometimes you see support coming and then sometimes you don't, you yeah. know? like. This guy was arguably one of the most alternative, alternative um, front men of any band in the world, and he's come out in support of Donald Trump. Oh, wow. wow. I so did not see that coming. He did have the orange hairstyle. I don't know if you saw in the picture before that. I that saw Johnny that. Rotten had yeah, an orange yeah, hairstyle. Yeah. I think maybe that's where the link is. <laughs> and um, you, sometimes you don't see it coming. Like Bruce Willis is also a big supporter of, wow. um, of Trump. I Johnny Rotten, really? That's yeah, like, that's left field, though. No, no, that's that's like so Marilyn Manson coming out and saying, I'm a big Britney Spears fan, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, wow. my goodness. That's <laughs> yeah, that's a didn't, combination you never saw coming together. Didn't mm. see that one coming uh -huh. at all. Also, um, there was there was big news in the entertainment business this week. Yeah. Um, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air's cast yeah. got back together for the first time in 20 years. Wow. That's right. And he still looks the same, he's though. Still, you know, he's aged exceptionally well. He, he really has. Black um, Unfortunately, <laughs> Uncle Phil won't be in that cast, of course, of course cause yeah, he's, he's, he's passed, passed on since. But at 20 years down the line, look everybody's look still there. Him. And um, yeah, they still look the same, more or less. I uh, um, hope he's got a new dance by now. No, that's and, uh, the, the classic, the, I don't know the how classic, to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that one, yeah. yeah. And uh, also, Will Smith apparently is recording a new album. And it's very unusual. We know what happens when you are a famous actor and you record an album. It's like career suicide. Yeah, this is... This guy came from the other side. He was a successful hip-hop artist and then became an actor. Yeah. And now he's going back to hip-hop. Oh, oh, wow. Nah, so nah, he's, nah, he's nah, come nah. to full circle. Apparently, yes. he's, got a, he's got a world tour planned as well. <gasps> And apparently we haven't seen the last of uh, Will Smith Jiggy yet. I oh, love wow. it, I love it, I love it. Well, something that's also happening with these mu musicians and artists is uh, in order to fund an album, you now crowdfund. That has become quite popular that's overseas. Yeah. I think it's the first time, the example you speak of, it's the first time it's happened in South Africa as yeah. far as I understand. Mm -hmm. Go away police car. Oh, go away police car. Roughly translated <laughs> into English. They have taken on the, the theory of trying to crowdfund their new album. Yeah. And they've managed to pull up, pull off How much? the 500,000 rand required Stop in it. seven days. What? So it proves oh. that we can do it in SA. It's, oh, it's possible. Wow. And there it is. Go away police car. 500,000 rand in a week. Okay. I think oh. I'm going to start the Kurtz Kunrod Fund mm -hmm. and attempt the same thing. Oh. I'm going to do a new album. Are you gonna? Yeah, I'm, I don't, I've never put out my first one yet, but I think I'm gonna crowdfund the debut one. I the don't know one. what genre you're gonna go for, hip hop, <laughs> R&B. I don't know. Let's uh, let's figure it out. I'm <laughs> looking for two backup singers. Then oh, maybe yes, you guys can we can do that. Shoo we can girls. do that. Yes. Well, we'll be shoo shooing all and the way. <laughs> one other thing before we wrap it up, we've got a Durban invasion show happening at the yeah. comedy club this week. So it's oh. just. Bananas and sea sand everywhere. <laughs> Come and check it out. It's going to be a joke. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Kurt, for being here. Of course, uh, the comedy club, Cape Town Comedy Club, is where you want to be this weekend. That's where it's going down. Indeed. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, Catch yeah. all the funnies over there. Thank you, Kurt Skurron, for joining us. Well, let's see what else is coming up on your Feel Good Breakfast show.